is May here, a final year vet student at Cambridge and today I'd like to talk about some things that you should bring with you when you go for a lambing placement. It's lambing season now and it's springtime so I'm really excited for people who will get the opportunity to go lambing and let's get into it. So the first thing is warmth. You want to bring a lot of layers with you because it'll get really really cold and you want to make sure that you have enough to last you without worrying about you know doing the laundry and not having enough clothes to last the two or three weeks that you're going. So things like uh, your fleece, your thermal layer, your hat, bring a headband or things like a snood. Like these are really useful to making sure that you're warm when you're doing night shifts, especially when you're at lambing. Other things to bring are your wellies and your wellies socks. So I can't stress enough the importance of having good welly socks these were given to me by uh, my friend's mom and these are so good they stay on they don't slip off like when you walk so it just keeps your tootsies warm and it makes you more comfortable because lambing shifts tend to be quite long they tend to be maybe like 10 12 hours depending on how busy your farm is so yeah you will be out in the cold for a while so make sure you have enough layers also you want to wear your waterproof trousers and your waterproof jacket is super super important i once was too lazy to put on some waterproof trousers and then when i went to navel dip a lamb the lamp kicked the bottle and the iodine mixed with surgical spirit splashed all over down my leg and it stung so bad, it was so painful for a few days. So yeah, I learned from my lesson and make sure you wear your waterproof trousers and your jacket. You'll be covered in all sorts of fluids from like lamb fluids, and the rain, mud, everything. So yeah, <laughs> it's really fun. The second thing about warmth is make sure you bring enough food to last you the two or three weeks. So check with your farm um, if they are happy to provide you with meals or if they have cooking facilities. If they do prepare meals for you, which was what um, happened to me on my placement, it was really nice. Make sure you bring extra snacks as well because sometimes it might be difficult to get to a shop, especially if you don't have a car. So make sure you bring enough chocolates, snacks in individually wrapped packets like crisps or even like a small bottle of squash. So, you know, it gives you that extra sugary boost when you're on placement. Also to bring some books, I guess for like you know like light reading books for entertainment to wind down during the evenings or to keep you company on shifts when you do night shifts oh yeah another thing is to bring a head torch as well which can be useful when i went i was quite unprepared but the farmer had provided us with torches and everything so even if you forget those things you'll be fine the next crucial thing to bring is your knowledge so the farmer won't expect you to be an expert in lambing because obviously it's your first placement if it is your first placement so make sure you let them know where your level of knowledge is and they'll be more than happy to guide you and teach you of the things that you should look out for but if you want to you know be keen and pre read beforehand i think the important things to know are to recognize the signs of lambing so you know when to expect that you is going to give birth so signs like pawing nesting behavior of the you if she gets up and down if she looks like she's straining if there is the appearance of the water bag so i will list some resources in the link below if you want to go and have a look also your vet school should provide you some notes and guide on lambing so you know have a look over that before you go would be quite useful other things are such as the common sheep diseases or a common pregnancy problems that they can get like twin lamb disease and um, E. coli in lambs or other things like dystochias, common malpresentations in the in your fetus. Other things like prolapses, uterine prolapse or a vaginal prolapse in sheep that would be useful to ask your farmer if they have a protocol on what to do and things like that. Also you can ask your farmer what kind of vaccination protocol they are on and how they breed their sheep, like what type of breed it is, you know, and what their sheep production cycle is like, that'll be quite good to know. An extra thing would be if the farmer asks if you'd like to do a post-mortem on some lambs that they found that were stillbirth or they were they want to dispose of, you can grab that opportunity. So it's a nice chance to sort of, you know, revise your anatomy when you do the post-mortem. I put some links down on like how they do a post-mortem, but obviously check with your farmer um, if it's allowed and if they would be happy to do, let you do. And lastly is to bring your enthusiasm. Go in with an open mind and go in with all the excitement because lambing is so, so, so much fun. Well, depending on how busy it is, sometimes you are just standing there looking at the sheep waiting for something to lamb and it may be frustrating because it's quite cold but when you get stuck 
into it and when you get to do all the jobs um, it will be really rewarding and you'll find that it's it's an experience like no other. I should say that when you go for lambing placement it's not only lambing that is the main component that you will be doing you'll also be doing loads of cleaning jobs such as mucking out and topping up the waters or bedding and setting up fences even so make sure that you get stuck in and get involved. Be the most helpful person you know on your farm because the farmer has been so kind and generous to allow you to come onto their farm and learn from them and they share their experiences with you. So I feel like if the least we can do is be the most helpful person you can be on your farm. So be prepared to get stuck in in all the different types of jobs when you're on lambing. It's all really part of the experience. So, you know, enjoy it. And I hope this video helped. Let me know in the comments if I've missed out any other essential bits of lambing to note before you go. And I hope you have a fun time at learning. And if you want more videos on how to survive placements, I made another one here, so check it out. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.